have 30 days to try it out. Thank you, darling. Thank Great you to so see much. you. Hey, coming up in my next hour, is this my final hour? Wow, that went by quick. Well, if you've always wanted to try a pressure cooker, all right, and I know a lot of you don't want to commit. You're like, oh, I don't want a six or eight quart pressure cooker. It's just me and my, and my husband and me and my partner, and I'm just, it's too much. Let me tell you a little story about this two quart digital pressure cooker. I picked this up because I did the same. Listen, let me, let me, I'm going to be totally honest. I had an eight quart pressure cooker. I wasn't using it. I donated it. I got the two quart. The two quart I used because I can pressure cook anything in here. You know, we were talking about butternut squash and things that are really take a long time to cook. What about artichokes? You ever do whole artichokes? It's like an hour boiling on the stove. You know how much energy you're wasting? Put a couple of them in there, add a little bit of stock. And in minutes, you've got artichokes that are ready to go. This is a try me. It's the lowest price I've ever done on it. it you, last time I was here was $34.95, and that was a good discount. This is as low at clearance as it's going to go. I expect these to sell out in the show. They come with the how-to book, everything you need. They come with the, uh, the little stand so you can actually put things in there and elevate them. You want to cook them a little mini chicken in there, you can do it. It's $29.98. Carrie Maletto is going to be joining us. you got to get one of these. All right, saves, it'll save you a boatload of money. It cooks so fast, yet it keeps all the flavor and all the nutrition in. And I got a, a couple of colors over there, so we're gonna talk about that in just a bit, but let me move on to my next item. Look who's back. Hey. Taylor. I'm back. Taylor, Taylor's back. Hey. Hi, darling. Good to see you guys again. So about two and a half months ago, maybe uh -huh. three, I can't remember, yeah. we premiered this. That's right. With the inventor of it. Mm -hmm. It was great. And I, it took me a sec to understand exactly what we were doing out here. Cause I'm like, right. cause I make meatballs. I love making the meatball mixture. Yes. I don't like making the meatballs because it That's takes forever and really you're trying does. to get consistent oh. size. Well, first of all, Taylor Mock is back. Hey. And Taylor is going to show us, this is called the Meatball Master. Meatball Master. <laughs> and let me tell you, I bought one I in know purple. You did. I bought it in, in purple. purple. Okay. And I have used it two or three times because I don't just do meatballs with it. I've done, I did cookies over the holiday, um, with, you know, to form, form oh, them. Oh, yeah. This is not a baker, this is a shaper. And shaper. what this does is it allows you to shape very, very quickly all that stuff at once. So you take mm -hmm. your whole meatball mixture and you press it in, we're gonna show you, and it makes all these perfect individually sized meatballs, whether it's Swedish so meatballs, right? Italian meatballs, you can make 30 Two 32 meatballs crazy at right a time. because this is for anybody <laughs> this is for busy moms in the yeah. kitchen uh, maybe you live on your own and you don't want to make a bunch of meatballs for that reason i'm going to show you how to use it so here's the meatball master it's going to come with a bottom and a top lid like you said it's going to shape your meatballs whatever your special meatball recipe is you know this is like italian meats with lean ground beef some garlic some parsley whatever it is put it in here pat it down now there's a fill Line, okay we don't want to go over the fill line because then we'll have meat spilling out right so you want to pay attention to that fill line on the side I'm going to take the lid here very simple guy which Love you this. already know Watch. it literally it's like a little puzzle right like it's right fun. in so what you're gonna want to do is I showed this to my brother Gary uh-huh he almost fell on the floor did he because he loves to make meatballs but I he hates know. to roll them it's crazy now you see what I'm doing guy I am pressing down the mold into the meat and it's cutting into the, the fibers now I'm doing it maybe two or three times just so I can make sure all the meatballs are perfectly shaped. This is taking, it is now done 10 seconds Look I time it. myself. Wait okay? you see. 10 seconds. I'm going to peel back just like that and boom. <laughs> oh, it's, it's beautiful, right? And then look what, watch, here comes the fun part. Here comes the fun part. You pop the them out. Meat, and you don't even have to touch it. I don't even know. I just want to touch no, it just to show you. Yeah. Okay, you pull it out. Here's the meatball in Perfect. my hand. Can we get a close up on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to see how awesome it is. Here is my meat ball. Now you'll notice this is a hex shape for the reason of it's not a perfect round meatball and there's a reason for that. Our creators found out that with the hex shape, it actually cooks the meatball more evenly and they're not massive, right? Yeah. Because you make and I don't like point. I don't like big giant meatballs because it's nope. a commitment and it's like, That's I right. like little ones because I'll little put like, better. and I make them, I used to make them twice the size, you know why? Because they were a pain. Oh yeah. So totally. I made I made less meatballs but I got rid of them quicker that yep. way. Now I do them the, the traditional size and. And let me just tell you, it's the perfect right, size. All right, you take them out and then you can brown them in the oven. I usually do mine with olive oil on a, on a baking sheet in oh, the oven and then I, t I, I toss them. Because um, remember, this is not a baker. You don't bake in this. This is a way to shape and to store. Shape and so store. So if you want to do like, if you want to get, uh, oh God, you know, right you if you want to get um, two of these, 
You can make all those meatballs totally. ahead of time, yes. and then you can freeze them in bags, or you can leave them right in there. That's right. That's what you do. I want you to pay attention to this, okay? This is how neat this is. So here is the meatball master. I have put my meatballs in the freezer because guess what? I'm too busy at home. I don't have time to make 30, 32 meatballs and, and <laughs> cook them up. I'm gonna freeze them, prep them, so that when my family is hungry and they're like, I don't want to eat right now. Yeah. All I've got to do is take this out of the freezer. Now, you've noticed I flipped it over, okay? You see those hexagon meatball yeah. shapes? I flipped it over for the reason. Here comes a reveal. Oh, my gosh. How beautiful. And I didn't do anything but take it out of the freezer. That and I is prepped it the night so before or the awesome. week before or the month before. And then pop when you go off, to take it off. And they will individually pop look off. This. Look at Look at Look at here are two meatballs. Give them a little twist if just you need like, to. Just like a little twist if you need to. And then you can to. obviously just, you know, pack them back in where you, where you flip them out. But but How you're not beautiful. rolling them. And they're all the same size, which tells me also they're going to cook evenly. evenly. And that is that hexagon shape that is so important. You can't tell when they're cooked anyway. But if you're thinking, okay... Super Bowl Sunday, how perfect is this? How beautiful for sliders, right? 32 yeah. sliders I have made, and it only took me 20 minutes in the oven. Now, of course, it ranges. I put it on like 350 for sure, 20 minutes. Sure. It really just depends on what you've got in your meat. I'm flipping this over. Guess what else you can make in these? Now, I know I know you like this one because I, I watched yeah. you last time. So actually, truffles. I want you to go ahead and try that out as I'm opening this. Which, whoa, is that what you made right here? Yes. What, what is? You're gonna, gonna tell me what it is. So I, should I guess? So that I made special for you is You're a so buffalo mozzarella meatball for football days. And did she just I've say made you buffalo truffles. mozzarella yes. meatball and chocolate truffles? I have put in the freezer. I have prepped them. And just like that, I have 32 beautiful truffles. You can decorate them like we did here. A little bit of sprinkles. Tell me, it's a new invention. That's uh, that is the buffalo and the mozzarella in a meatball, right? That is so it's amazing. That's so ridiculously good. Yeah. I mean, that is that's unbelievable. Like you, you know, I'm, I'm I don't even I'm trying to think. Would I put that over pasta? You could. You totally could. You could mix oh, that yeah, with yeah, veggies yeah. and do like an all protein and veg thing. That that's, is delicious. That's the beauty you of the meatball there, you master. You mix the blue cheese in there too. I can totally. taste everything in there. Absolutely. Holy I want you to check God. this out. Chocolate chip cookies. Those busy mm, moms so that are like, you know, as much as I would love for you know the kids have a baking. Hey, moms, can you bring 32 cookies for the kids? And you're like. Prep them out. Put them in your freezer whenever you need them. And it's just as easy as popping it out Man. just like this. This is dishwasher safe. Buffalo it's meatball. It's freezer safe. We've made our materials so beautiful for the reason of, this is not just like silicone. This is a special plastic silicone that is not going to tear when it's frozen, right? It is a very, very high quality material. So when you order, pick a color. Yeah. I picked purple, because I don't have anything in my kitchen that's purple. Exclusive like, to HSN. Exclusive to HSN. Yes. You will find so many different ways to make different types of meatballs. Let me just tell you this, if you love Swedish meatballs, you have to get this, because oh, they're yeah. the perfect size. But if you like just good sized meatballs and you don't want to have to deal with it, you can get a couple, put this in the freezer. When it comes time to cook, you just take mm -hmm. them out. You can thaw them out. A lot of people don't. I know real Italian grandmothers that put them in their sauce frozen. Oh, yeah. Raw. Because Absolutely. they're like, they it's tell me. It's easier to work They with. tell me they're more tender if you cook them like that. Oh, really? Yeah, well, and, and a lot of the juice comes today. out into the sauce. Anyway, if okay. you want it, yeah, $17.95. I love it. I own it, and it's I think amazing. it's a great idea. You're never going to go back. And I think you're amazing. Thank you. I think you're amazing, guy. <laughs> Taylor you're only Rock, saying everybody. that because I fed you Taylor, today. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> That's so great. And thank you. The, that meatball. I got, now I got to get recipes for everything in the show. That I'll meatball save the was, frozen ones for you. Oh, I love so you'll you. be good. You're the best. <laughs> All right. Thank you, darling. All right. All right thank we'll see you. you in a bit. Come on over. We got more to talk about um, after our meatball uh, master. Well, a lot of you are going to be doing prep work, right? When you do all your various cooking jobs. Um, and let me just tell you, there's a guy named John Florell. When it comes, he does a lot of things great, but I, he is like the prep master of HSN. If you need to take something and get it ready for something yeah. else, this guy. I'm like a sous well, chef. Well, you know I'm why? HSN sous chef. I'll tell you why, because he's, an, he's this guy is a great outdoorsman. He's a great fisherman, all that stuff. So he knows a lot. He's, he's, very, uh, he's very in tune with the ways to get things from point A to point B. One of the things you're going to obviously need is you're going to need a cutting board. And I will tell you, there is no cutting board on the market like this. It's, it's as important to a kitchen as a good set of knives. 
knives. Totally. It really is. Yeah. And with the HQ cutting board, what we've done is taken the cutting board to the next level. I want to sh just show you real quick here, and by the way, it's a set of two. There's a hole in, in the side here, okay? This is actually a drain hole because on your countertop, you don't always want to use a cutting board, and a cutting board makes a terrible drain board because exactly. it doesn't hold any water <clears throat> and it doesn't drain. This one has the drain hole. It's got the raised ridges on the inside so you can actually dry your dishes if you hand wash your dishes or maybe it's just that one thing. And what I love about this too, it's got a built-in knife sharpener. <laughs> so as you're using a cutting board, okay, or any of your kitchen knives, and let's face it, we all have a drawer full of knives. Most of them are dull. And the reason your knives go dull is because after you cut your food, what does that knife hit? It hits your countertop, your cutting board, okay? And cutting boards, normal cutting boards, will dull the edge of a knife. Now, with the HQ cutting board, because of our special design, and because of, I want you to see that, actually, I don't know if the camera can get it, but I want you to listen. Oh, yeah. It's got raised ridges, ridges on it that hold your food in place. So as you're slicing, chopping, dicing, mincing, shredding, whatever it is that you want to do with your knives, it holds the food in place so it's not sliding all over the place. And the great part about this is dishwasher safe. I love it because you can put it on the bottom rack of your dishwasher and it actually fits on the bottom rack. And you know that little twirly thing in your dishwasher that washes, that yeah, sprays yeah, yeah. the water? Yeah. It'll, you ever put a, a, a like a cookie sheet in your dishwasher and have that hang up and it never and your dishes yeah, don't yeah, get clean? Yeah, yeah. This time. fits underneath there, okay? It's perfect. So it's totally dishwasher safe. There's so many features to it. There's a silicone rim all the way around, a ridge that goes all the way around that keeps it from sliding. It'll never warp. I want you to notice something, okay? Most people have cutting boards like this at home. These things get so dirty, you have to run bleach over them. Yeah, they're okay. nasty. Uh, these, these flexible things, they tear, they rip up, they get ugly looking. And these, the wooden cutting board, and here, you ever have a cutting board do this, where you put it down on the countertop and... <laughs> you, the, you, the, somebody, it's like a playground somebody put board. that under hot water or put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you know. can't put these in the dishwasher or get them wet, otherwise they warp. So if you're used to cutting boards like this, wait until you try our HQ cutting board. Now, another little feature that I love, okay? It's all built in. It's all built in. Right here, you'll notice we built in Oh, there it is. It's a grater. So what? if you want to do your, uh, garlic? May, maybe it's garlic. Okay, oh maybe it's gosh. grated garlic, maybe it's, uh, 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 maybe it's a nutmeg or cinnamon. Look at this, you can take your cloves of garlic, grate it perfectly right on your cutting board. Oh, that's brilliant. And take it down. Now, it's not gonna grate you. I'm running my fingers across, right. by the way. It's not, it, look, uh, no ouch. <laughs> They're like little teeny tiny <laughs> pyramids. <laughs> that, perfect. That, that shave. Perfect. Yep. Perfect for grating your garlic. If you want it, it's $34.95. It's on FlexPay. I've only have it. $11.65. And you get John, two we have two colors available, yeah, right? Yeah, you get two. There's a set of oh, two. Oh, you get, you get them both. Yep. So you yep. don't have to worry. So so this one is kind of like the, the beige color, and then it also comes in the charcoal color. Yep. Um, you get both of these for $34.95. I mean, it, it's brilliant. So yeah, now you can really have one, is. maybe if, like you, if you have have an area outside where you prep dish and things like yep. that. Yep. Or maybe you can take one out to the bar. Yeah. Uh, it makes a great serving tray, okay, because I want you to notice this. Look at this. All of these dishes, okay, are going to drain perfectly on there. And because we put that little hole right here, you can hang that over the edge of your sink and all the water drains it down into your sink. It's so you brilliant. get a perfect drying board, okay, or a serving oh. tray. If you want to serve drinks on it, you can. Oh, I'm buying this and, today. And it won't slip or slide around on your countertop because of that silicone around the outside, it's firm on your countertop or, or tabletop. So you never have to worry about, uh, you know, it sliding around while you're doing your prep work. Right, right, right. Okay. Everything stays. Yep. And because of those ridges on there, it's not like one of these uh, um, white cutting boards, you know, these things that end up, I don't know if we can get a close up of this. Okay. But any little mark or mar on there, keeps dirt yeah. and it That's also harbors color. bacteria. <clears throat> yeah. So every once in a while you have to bleach these, okay? You don't have to ever do, worry about that with the HQ cutting board. Well, and I love the fact that you can sanitize it. Okay, yeah. that, that oh, yeah. is a huge deal. There, there is nobody, uh, you know, I, I've actually seen some of the smaller restaurants where they still have a wood cutting board and I'm like, they're gonna have to replace that thing from time to time because wood is porous. Yes. It's gonna hold That's on right. to bacteria. You need to get material like this to be able to clean it properly. You don't wanna get your family 
sick. One day, you know how sometimes one day you're cutting lettuce or, or veggies, the next day you're cutting chicken on <laughs> yes, there. That's right. Don't, that, well, we're giving you two boards. Try to never use one board for meat. Only do veggies on and it. Here's the other nice thing about yeah. it, okay? It's got a rim around the outside. For carving. So as I'm doing this, okay, any juices that come out, maybe it's a flank steak that you want to slice or cut, okay? You never have to worry about those juices running out onto your cutting board or off your cutting board onto your tabletop because of that rimmed design. And it's also rimmed all the way up around that drain hole. So even if you've got the juiciest turkey or the juiciest chicken, You're it's good to go. not gonna drain out because that rim catches it all right. the way around. It's it's and as your knife starts to get dull, yeah. which it will because all knives do, look at this guy. On the cutting board, all you do is lift it up it has that built-in knife sharpener, so you'll always have a razor-sharp knife to use on your most, is, the most beautiful cutting board you'll ever use that, in your That life. is, and coming from him, <laughs> and this is a guy that goes through cutting boards, trust me, oh, coming yeah. from John, uh, you, uh, who's fished his whole life, he knows a good cutting board. That is a great deal. We're gonna give you two of them for $34.95. That's our feature price. $11.65 is your flex pay. Take advantage of that. You're gonna absolutely love these things. I'm gonna get these. I, I, I don't I'm, blame you. I, don't, I have a lousy cutting board. I need to get a new one. So yep. I'm going to get two. All right, John, great job. Thank you so hey, much. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate that. John's always bringing us uh, great ideas. Hey, wanted to remind you, speaking of another great idea, we're talking about, uh, you know, New Year and getting yourself healthy. Well, uh, trust the folks at Nutrisystem. This is a, a great way to be able to get really delicious, healthy meals without having to go through all the stress of, of creating all the ideas and the recipes and all that stuff. Um, we've got great weight loss. It's designed for your body and your goals. You can go to hsn.com and you can check out all the uh, great systems and plans that we have available for you there uh, you're gonna absolutely love that when we come back it's I'll tell you a lot of things I own today including our next storage set you do not want to miss out on it it is one of my number one choice for storage here at the network be right back right after this beauty like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me every Wednesday night for a beautiful new routine. The List is your go-to guide for our favorite fashion and accessory finds of the week. We have the best styles hand-picked just for you. Join us every Thursday night to see what made The List. All right, Carrie Valetto, get over here. You're already out. You're already in the shop. I was like, what are we? Come over here. I'm already here. So Carrie introduced me to uh, Art and Cook uh, about a year ago, maybe. I don't know how long ago. All I know is it sold out and we couldn't get it back. I know. Be why? I know. Because I tried to get it for last summer's host pick. Oh, you remember? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, we, we can't yeah. get it ordered in time. Yep, yep. I have this at home. I used it. I mean, I've got, you know what I have in this one right here at home? I have pickled um, onions and carrots because I use it when I make bon, bon mi. So yeah, I yeah. pickle them myself. Sure. And I put it in here. I put the boiling liquid in there and I let it sit. It never leaks. That's I right. love it. This is called Art and Cook. And what we have is a, a material that's called Triton. Triton is virtually indestructible. It's the material that encapsulates uh, all these storage sets. It is so brilliant, it's ridiculous, because you're gonna get a, a, every possible size you would want. Four snap lids all the way around so everything stays inside. The gasket inside, which prevents any kind of leakage. These are top of the line. I would pay $79 for this set. After I got it home, and I paid $49 for mine. Yes. I would pay $79 for this in a minute, and it's only $39. Why? You can't touch the, the, the material that it's made of. Triton is what they make industrial blender cups out That's of. Correct. So that they last forever. Yep. This is Triton. The colors I are, do you know that I actually, because I keep it out, I don't hide this. Oh, I really? keep it all nested. I, I have a, a, a steel like an rack, like an open, a rack yeah. with all my pots and pans, okay. and this sits well, this right on the rack. The yeah. And my two brothers who are avid cooks, right? They came over and they're like, is that storage stuff? And I'm like, yeah, they're like, yeah. that is awesome. And I couldn't get it for them because it sold out. 
Okay, You're long so story lucky. short, it's back. It's back. When, and, and Carrie Millett, she's the perfect person because Carrie's gonna show you all the pieces and we don't yes. have a lot of time, but it yes. is an amazing set of storage ware. Um, you, you can put this in the fridge, freezer, whatever you wanna do, and everything. it keeps everything fresh. So the deal is Triton. So okay. if you're not familiar with Triton, I want you to look up Triton right now. And I want you to understand that we partnered, this is Art & Cook, we take things down to the blueprint and we redo them in a better way. And we partnered with Eastman Triton, who was the number one Triton maker on the marketplace. Now, what that means is that you're getting the most high quality and durable pieces that ex I feel exist on the marketplace. I'll tell you the way I feel. I'm going to walk right over right here and take one of them. Now, here's the thing. I do this for fun because I want you to understand what Triton means. It's virtually indestructible. I am going to stand on it. I'm going to get my balance. Wee! And I do my little trilly thing. <laughs> oh! Okay. But the reason I want you to see that is because, listen, we drop our stuff. We throw our stuff. All kinds of crazy things happen. And what happens? It breaks. It splits. Over time, if it's not Triton, it clouds up in your dishwasher. It warps. It leaks and leaches. And so you have smells in there. How about when you do things like this is a roast in here. And I want you to look at this. This roast would stain most any container on the marketplace. Yep. And you'd that'd be it. It always had that red kind of color yeah. because of the grease and everything. Now, number one, this is leak proof. So once it's closed, it's got a silicone edge that goes all the way around and it's got its four locking sides. So that means you're never gonna have that oh my gosh moment at the back of your car right. or inside your bag or anything like that when you're transporting this. And I always lovingly show this. I said, this is like meditation hour. So if I do this like this, but it's, it's, <laughs> we just put the blue liquid in there. Kind of looks like the beach, right? But like, I love it because it kind of shows you yeah, as that water's leaks. moving away, like nothing is going to come out of here no matter how crazy I get with this. And that has to do again with the silicone edges that I want to show you right here. So they go all the way around the lid and when you're placing them on, you'll feel it. You'll feel it kind of grab yeah. on and then once it grabs on, just lock it in place. Can I say one really quick thing and we, we, I want you to show, I want everybody to look here Yeah. at this right here. It nests. The reason that I really bought it initially, because I didn't get to demo it like you did on air, sure. is because this is what it looks like when you put it away. It's so pretty. This is how it stores. How many of you out there have those cheapo plastic ones from the marketplace and they're falling apart and they have and they're not really sealed they're just covers yeah they don't seal like this inside here if you will notice we got one inside another inside another they're all it's like stored those little dolls I, those yeah little dolls yeah yeah the little cupid dolls <laughs> oh, or whatever they're one. called oh, here's another anyway one. i interrupted you because i had to show no, everybody it's cute. that's why i got it and that's why like my brothers are like I need that because yeah. I hate the ones that stack all over the place. Well, and because you lose your lids, um, I want you to go to your count, you know, go to your cabinet right now where you have your storage. You know, this is January. Okay. We're starting over. <laughs> It's my favorite size, by the way. Let, let me, me tell show you. you. This is the other reason I got it's it. It's three ounces, but let me tell you, this is for all those little leftover onions, those got, little hey, chives. What if I got five the, olives left in the jar? That's right. right? You don't want to waste that. What so if you, you want to take some here? jewelry with you on a trip and you yeah. want to put your rings and your earrings in there? This this little size, it's, it's so cute. funny because I have this in my fridge and like Danny will come in there and he'll be like, I, you know what I put in there once? One hard boiled egg. Yeah. I squashed it in size. there. I'm like, yeah. I got one egg. But you know what? <laughs> Here's the thing, Love I don't know if you do this, I do this all the time. I use the wrong size all the time. Like I'll try to use this container when really I only need this container. Right. And we all do that, right? Because our eyes deceive us. So what we've done in this set is we've given you eight pieces and eight lids, so that's the 16, that are the most highly used sizes out there that you're going to need. So it's really gonna give you a real all around um, you know, amount of uses. But um, I wanna show you, there's one feature we haven't even talked about yet. And that's one of my favorite things is right here on the side, on this one, notice there's a little slider. Now, not every single one of the pieces have this, like the, t the smallest three ounce piece doesn't have this, but as you get to some of your larger pieces, it's gonna have the Sunday through Saturday markers. Now, I don't know about you, I'm gonna show you this one for a real prime example. You ever taken out a piece of meat at the beginning of the week or something, or like whenever, sure. and you just said, oh, I'm gonna take that chicken out because I'm gonna make it, and then you end up accidentally going out to dinner or something like that, and then a couple Can't days remember. goes by, and then you go, when did I take that chicken out? And then you're doing the smell test, right? To like, is this thing still good? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, here's the way to know. You're gonna actually be able to move your slider to whatever day, so say you took it out on Friday, you know you've gotta use that by probably Monday for that to still be usable. And that's just a way for you to keep track of yourself. And also, the fact that you can see into these, let's come over here, it can be a redo of the pantry. It can be, now you can actually see things in your refrigerator. Now that I have storage where I can actually see what's in there, I'm wasting a lot less yeah, food. Yeah, I love it. If you can't see through it, you forget what's in there, and, I, and you know, it ends up getting 
pushed back, and then this yeah. you can really take a, a bird's eye view and see. And look at everything Miss Carrie has put and in you here. Have it on okay, your so look how you got that leftover is. mini donuts. You have leftover baked goods, whatever it is. It could be croissants. It could be bagels. Yeah. And and you can you know with bagels and things like that, you can press them down and get a lot inside there. But I love that you get all the different sizes, um, from the little three ounce up to the you know the forty ounce, uh, forty seven ounce. You get all the sizes, and they all go inside each other perfectly nesting so that you don't have to take up a lot of space under a cabinet. I, I leave mine out because I use them so often. I, yeah. In fact, I have like two that aren't being used right now out of all the pieces I have. Show everybody the fridge. Let's well, come on over. Look, I mean, I took this look. out. Let me stop for a second. But like, if I, if I just show you the fridge, imagine your fridge being so clear and being, you know, people think this is glass. That's how clear it looks. And that's, that's the Triton difference. So again, don't forget to look up Triton. But whether you're doing your sauces, this is completely going to come off. There will be no residue of that sauce once we clean this. There's not going to be any smells left over if you do forget about something. But here's that prime example of just where your onions can go. So that's just, I've sometimes I've over chopped yeah. and I don't want to waste those because buying herbs, buying vegetables you know, gets expensive. Garlic cloves. Garlic. Oh, perfect you know, garlic. after you take them out and you wonder yes. where to put them? Yes. Oh yeah. Here, I'm going to bring this over. So this is just my food prep. So maybe you're into that right now and you should be because food prep not only saves you a lot of money, but it helps you to watch the calories that you're taking in. There's no better way than being in charge of your food and really knowing what's going in yeah. there. So this I love, fresh fruits and vegetables, being able to then put pieces inside of pieces. So here you're gonna notice that I put in my smaller two pieces. I'm gonna keep my cucumbers crisp till it's time to have that lunch. So maybe I wanna bring my dressing. If I yeah. put the dressing on early, it's gonna get all soggy. Yeah. This will not leak and so can I can place it. how much you need so exactly. you don't over, because exactly. believe me, if you fill that container up, <clears throat> you've doubled the fat. So it, it's great with portion control as well. And look at how everything locks yep. and nothing can get in there. No bugs there. It, this stuff is ideal if you're going on picnics, if you're traveling. Even for your kids, right? For your kids when they're going, like mine going back and forth to school, if he wants to bring some stuff home, he's got a way to keep it perfect. We are extremely busy. I knew we would be. I, I have not presented this in at least six to eight months because it sold out so quickly and everybody loves it. You I, know what we don't talk about too? The colors are great. They're, they're like really rainbow. They're really great. They go with any kitchen. They brighten up your day. <clears throat> um, they really do look beautiful, like Guy is saying. I have never been more excited about storage than I've been about this storage. And this is your investment storage, by by the way. This is the one that you are going to protect that no one is going to take anywhere. It's going to stay. It's going to stay with you. This is not the one you give your neighbor. This is not the one you give your kids. No, I this wouldn't is give the anybody one this. You keep I don't bring this to mom's house. Years. This is going to be years and years and years. Yeah. And why? Again, I just want to show you, you're not going to step on your storage like I'm doing. But the reason I'm showing this to you is because Triton <laughs> is being used in blenders. It's being used in all the new containers now. And now we are one of the few people. I don't know anyone else using it in their storage. No. And why not? Because we always have that moment that we're transporting it from the fridge and something drops. Sure. Not only do you have to worry about any leaking issues, but you it's, also will know it's virtually The gauge of it is very heavy duty. That's why you can you saw that uh, Carrie was standing on it. And that means it's going to uh, last a long time. But a lot of money went into the lids to make sure that they stay uh, sealed as well. That's right. Um, it, it's, a, it's a slam dunk. And I, I please try it. Get home 30 days. If I'm wrong, send it back. But yeah, I won't be. I know it because I own guy it. guy guarantee. I, well, I, <laughs> I, listen, I can't own everything. It's just, it's funny because in this three hours, I bought, I bought a lot of the stuff yeah. that we had in our show. I, know, I, know. I have the Nutra Bullet. I have this. I have a bunch of other well, things. I remember we I have the two quart pressure cooker. Excited. I finally got it. I gave away my eight quart. I wasn't using it. Right? I mean, I, I love it, but We're I wasn't using it. That. So now I have one that, that you're going to be talking about later. So you yeah. hang on. We'll okay. see you in a bit. Hey, really quick, uh, Rob, do, uh, do we have that track phone? I wanted, we wanted to mention that. Thank you so much. Here it is. So we have a today special pre sale, and it's a track phone. I don't have to tell you how great track phone is. This is the slam dunk because it's a Samsung Galaxy. All right, it's the A10. It's, this is almost a six inch screen. 32 gig, not a 16. Comes with 1500 minutes, 1500 texts, and 1500 megabytes of data. That's enough for an entire year. You get a phone, a Samsung high end phone, for 99 bucks, including a year of service. You won't get a bill. You just buy the phone and you're good for a year. If, if, if it only lasts you six months, then you buy more time. But what I love about it is you're in control of the amount uh, of time that you uh, that you utilize it. So if you're not a huge phone user, you don't pay nothing for a year. If you use your phone a lot, then maybe six months. Still, 99 bucks for six months? Are you crazy? It's fantastic, and the phone is phenomenal. All right, we're gonna move on. We're gonna get to meet uh, Francis Biondi in just a sec, but before we get to that, I wanna tell you about our smart deal. 
So I just told everybody, for instance, you might have overheard me saying, I had an eight quart pressure cooker. Love it, pressure cooker's a great item. I never used it. It's too much. I don't make 40 pounds of stuffed cabbage every, every week. I wish I did. So uh, basically, I, sh I bought the two quart that we have today. This is the same situation. How many of you really have room for a big, giant food processor? A lot of us don't. I mean, I live in a 1,600 square foot house. <laughs> I got, my kitchen is my world, and I got no room in there. But I got room for this guy because this is the power, this is the performance of a KitchenAid mixer. And you know KitchenAid, right? I got one of those, I'll show you that later if you want a full out gigantic you know, mixer, but it's fantastic, don't get me wrong. But this is one everybody can afford and everybody can put in, uh, in their home. It's only $36.98, it's our, our smart deal. It's top of the line KitchenAid with a smaller footprint. Simple, easy operation, okay? Notice what's missing, all the different you know, clanks and lock this and do all that stuff. You pop the lid on, you're good to go. This will allow you to chop, mix, puree. You can whisk. If you want to do cream in here, you can whisk cream. You can whip in here. If you want to whip, you want to make your own dang butter. You can do that inside here. It's easy to clean. What I'm trying to tell you is this is your everyday processor. When you need to prep food for soups or for salads or for whatever it is you're making, this is it. When you order today, you've got, let's see, one, two, three, four. I think you got four choices or five. Well, I know it comes in, it comes in matte. Oh, here's because there's two whites. It comes in a matte white and a regular white, there it is. All right, it comes in red, it comes in, this is silver, which is beautiful. And then it also comes in a matte black right here, which just means not shiny. And then this is onyx, look at that, that's shiny. So basically you have six choices, either two in the black or two in the white, and then the silver and the red. Francis Biondi, my good friend, good I have not seen you in a hey, long man. time. It's been a while, it's been a Since while. our KitchenAid TS, it's good to yes. see you. Yeah, good to see and, you. you know, but the, the point is, is, is true, you know yeah. that. Like we love yeah. our KitchenAid stand mixer. That's Fantastic. Sure. Um, it's, it's not so much a processor, it's a mixer. Exactly. But it takes up space. This is perfect. It's super it's a, easy. It's a compact food process. It's compact. It does everything that you need it to do, yeah. you know, without all that extra baggage, oh right? Oh, my gosh. Um, so some of the great features of this, uh, it not only chops, but purees, and you did say it whisks and whips, too. Yeah. And I'm going to show you that. Actually, it comes with a couple of these blades. So you're going to get, when you open the box, your whisking blade. This is that whip whisking attachment for your whipped cream, your yeah. butters. We're going to make a chocolate air and stuff. Corporate's air. Yeah. And the awesome double-tiered uh, double tiered blade for your chopping and pureeing. Perfect. Now, it's all about taking control of your ingredients, taking control of that New Year's resolution. Yeah. Um, I have some cauliflower that we're gonna make some cauliflower rice in. So of course, uh, so, uh, showing out here, you can do that mirepoix, your carrots, your celery, your onions. Right. You can puree it down if you're gonna make your bolognese. I mean, those, that's what I put in my <sighs> bolognese. bolognese. I love bolognese, what a pain. So if good. you don't have a food processor, it's impossible. And a lot of food yeah. processors are hard to use too. So yeah. this is easy, it's a five cup capacity, BPA free bowl and lid. Obviously the top here has that window so you can really see what you're doing. What's great about this too is that they engineered a drizzle uh, drizzle bowl. So this drizzle great. basin, you can allow uh, oils and, and milk, whatever you're gonna make, it just perfectly drizzles the right stream to incorporate in for your vinegar as well. So we're gonna chop this. All you're gonna do is hold the handle, yeah. really easy to use, line it up and a push the button. And another thing, do you, do you hear that? It's, yeah, it's actually kind of quiet. quiet for a food it processor, is. right? Wow. Now I'm just gonna open this up super easy again. You just twist off the lid. I'm gonna pull out the blade here as oh, well so you so kind of see simple, what we Francis, did. Look at this. And I'm just gonna pull this off to the right and pour it out. And there you go, you have cauliflower rice, look we have this that. beautiful cauliflower risotto oh we gosh. made, asparagus, mushrooms. And people I mean, are buying this by easy. the bag and they don't know how old it is and it's, it's there and it's sometimes it's frozen on the bottom. It's, this is the way to do it yourself. That's great. And yeah. so healthy. But think about it, you would never make that amount in a giant food processor Exactly. it's not worth the cleanup. It's not worth the cleanup. Ugh. And I love that you brought up that point about freshness. And that's the thing, yeah. when you buy it and you do it yourself, you're controlling those calories, controlling the preservatives. Um, here we have our whisking attachment, our whisking blade. And I have that inside our food processor. So again, all I'm gonna do is line up uh, our button with the top of our so handle. Easy. You hear that click? Yeah. And I'm just gonna push this down. And now you do have control, because it's just with the press of the button, it starts going. So I'm gonna hold this down. All I have is heavy whipping cream in here. Yeah. And that's it. So as we're talking here, we're gonna, you see, actually, can you stop hearing the sound change? Yeah, 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 you can see through the top that it is already changed into Look a really it. nice consistency. <laughs> now I can keep that going for a little longer if I'd like. I'm gonna let it go for maybe a couple more seconds. And what I'm gonna do, 
besides making some beautiful whipped cream, we're gonna make a quick, easy chocolate mousse. Yeah. Just using some chocolate syrup. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit in here right now. See, now, if you had like, if you had four guests coming for dinner, yes. you could make four delicious portions of chocolate mousse in there, and people wouldn't even know. They'd think you went to the, you know, fancy steps, and all it is is it's a, it's a little whipped cream and some fresh chocolate. Exactly, that's beautifully right? said. Yeah, it's, and it's yeah. so easy to store, too, because everything, when it comes into the box, is store, stacked right on top of each other. I mean, this is so fun. Yeah, you know what's amazing is I, I was, we offered the Nutribullet today, and I use the Nutribullet for a lot of things, but I, can't, I don't chop veggies and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. it's not meant for that. It's really meant for liquids and things in there because that's how you activate it. Yeah. This is a perfect size, just like with the two-quart pressure cooker, perfect size for most homeowners out there yes. who don't have room for a big food processor. Exactly. But they still want to make salsa. And they yes. still want to make dressing. Like, I'm a huge fan of Green Goddess. I like to make it myself. And look, look how airy and this, at, this whipped cream just end up being. Look at so how airy yeah, it is. Let's that taste that how airy it is. You want more chocolate? Friend. You always add more Dude, chocolate you, in there, you too. You can make butter in this thing. You can make butter. You can make uh, emulsify awesome. your vinaigrettes, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Man, All that's right. really, really good. I love that. So the choices that you have in, in preparation are, are vast with this because you can make sauces, you can make soups, you can do uh, vegetable prep. You make salad dressings, like I just said. Yes. And boy, when you make a fresh dressing, first of all, you make it for about a hundredth of the cost of a jar. True. And it's fresh. And it's fresh. Yeah. And you can control as much Dijon vinegar, as, yeah. as, as much uh, mustard or mayonnaise you want to put into anything. Right. And what's great here is uh, you can make pestos. And this has that power and capacity to make a really good pesto sauce for your one-plated dinner or and, a couple of nice ones. And ones. watch what, what's great about this, too, is the design of those blades. Yes, yes, the design of the blades. So as we're using this, um, I wanted to show you again the two tier blade system. They're so you could stuff that. this off to the top if yeah. you wanted to, but it'll chop everything you put in there. So it's yeah. five cup capacity again, which is awesome. We have a walnut pesto we're making. So walnuts at the bottom, Parmesan cheese, which you can make in the food uh, chopper as well, yeah. and basil. So with a push of a button, can I help you? Gonna, yeah, please. So Don't drizzle right into that uh, the drizzle basin. Go ahead. It's getting into that nice paste-like consistency, and this oil is going to uh, nicely incorporate everything. Keep going. Let's keep going with it. I like it a little bit more liquidy than most. Yeah, me too. And I love how you're controlling the amount of oil, too. You're not just opening it up and pouring it in like you would with most. So we're going to let the rest of the oil drizzle. And By the way, the six, seconds, the, uh, the, uh, which, uh, is it the, the regular white? is gonna sell out. There's only, there's only about five or six hundred of those, so those are gonna go. <laughs> but look at, and, and if you could smell, Oh fresh, my gosh. fresh. Love pesto. It's not canned, doesn't come in the bottle. Yeah. This is something you can make at home. And it's a lot easier than you think. Look at this, we have these be uh, beautiful uh, zucchini zoodles. You know, people made, stay away spiralized. from doing stuff like this because yeah. it's because of the mess. Yes. And everything, the only mess is rinsing a container. That is that is all you need to do. I would, you don't even need to put this in the dishwasher. You rinse it out, rinse the blade off, and put it on a towel. And that's all you need to do. I am shocked that we're doing KitchenAid at $36.98 exactly. yeah. because if this was 89 or 99 bucks, I wouldn't think twice it's about steel. it. It's a steal. Powerful motor in the housing. Two sets of different attachments so that you can chop and you can whip. Remember, you want to wake, making your own whipped cream. If you're out there and you're buying one of those spray bottles for three bucks, the amount of whipped cream he just made probably cost him 25 cents. And that's it. And you can make I mean, that at home. That's yeah. amazing. And, and what's really cool is I want to show you again just how easy it is to, uh, to stack in. So you're going to have your KitchenAid facing the front. That same band that you know and love from our KitchenAid stand yeah. mixers is right on there. You have two speeds here, the chop and the puree. I'm just going to align the lid. And, and hear snaps. that click. Yeah. And I'm going to align this Same top this. as well. You're done. And I'm ready to go. And I just push, and the motor oh, goes. It's, I love it's this. that easy. So people, a lot of people are, uh, we, you know, we're, we've been uh, email, or we've been uh, streaming live on Facebook. A lot of people wonder, is it powerful enough to be able to do certain things? Well, you got cheese. I have hard, hard cheese. Parmesan cheese, fresh, hard block Parmesan cheese. And we're going to grate this and sprinkle it right on top of our pesto. So check this out again. Line the lid up and push the button kind of see how that's going. And this is on the chop setting. The chop is still a very strong setting. Yeah. You'll be doing what you want. And you know, as we're talking here, we have grated Parmesan cheese. The longer I hold this, the finer that cheese is going to end up being. I kind of like it to have a little bit of a crunch, yeah, a little bit too. of that saltiness, yeah. right? Yeah, especially if it's a really good Parmesan. You, you want to have a little bit of a sort that. of toothiness to it. Yes. And yeah. look at how perfect for the pasta this you is just made. Awesome. I'm just going to sprinkle this right on top. I'm using our pour spout. So if you did have, li have liquids or sauces, you can drizzle it right wow. on top of whatever you're making. <laughs> You're making that. me Isn't hungry, bro. Beautiful. And I'm not normally a big vegetarian pasta guy. That looks <laughs> dang good. I'd eat that. All right, if you want it today, it's on FlexPay. $12.33, reduced shipping and handling, and $36 to get a food processor home. And, and you know, there, there's lots of them on the market, and I've seen them in some of the stores that are $29, $30, and they're little pieces of junk. I, I know because I can 
manipulate them, and I know the motor is low. Yeah. This is KitchenAid, so you can you can rest assured you're going to get a really good, compact, powerful uh, food processor yeah. that's going to do all the jobs you need to do around the house. And if you love to cook like me, obviously like Francis, and you like to make some of your own stuff, you like to grate your own Parmesan. You want to make your own salad dressings. I mean, you it's can make like like I make so the gr that Green Goddess dressing, which is really not hard. It's one of my favorite dressings. Isn't it actually? great? Yeah. It's I awesome. used to run a restaurant called uh, Onion Alley, okay. and it was all onion based okay. product in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So and and we had a creamy green onion was our house dressing and I used I freaked out. You over know what? It. I like to do that actually in my chicken salads too. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't, we're talking about the the strength and the power of the motor. We have grilled cooked chicken in here, chunks of celery and mayonnaise, yeah. and I'm just gonna let this go. I have it on chop, and if I want to get that motor going a little bit more, I can get it to puree. Now you hear the change in the difference of the motor, but I, I think this is beautiful for a nice easy tuna salad, chicken salad, egg salad. I mean. Quick and easy breakfast, and you're good to go. I, I just, I can't, I can't tell you enough about the impress, the, the size that impresses me because it's not little. It's just compact, and you can see this is what's five cups, right, Francis? So five, yes, five cup, cup capacity. capacity. Yeah, I mean, if you need five cups of whipping cream, that's a lot of whipping cream. It's more than you would probably need for anybody, or five cups of soup, or five cups of, of salsa. You can make all that in here. When you order today, you have two choices in white, two choices in black. So there's the two in white. The one in the back is the shiny white, okay? And then this is a matte white. So this one, I, I kind of like the matte finish a little bit better. Comes in the shiny red, comes in the matte silver, and then it also comes in matte black, and it comes in onyx black. So fewer than 1,000 now in that. So this is the blade, and remember, and there's an extender on the blade too, so if you need to chop from up top, you can. But they, they make the blade two heights, so that it gets everything without having to scoop it out with a spa, you know, with a with a spatula, and it comes with the whipper as well. Francis, hey, hey. I wish I wish we, we had, had more time. Ice cream. We had blueberry ice cream for you to try, but you're you know my what? friend. You're going to continue we'll to make it again, for sure. <laughs> a little bit later. Thanks again. It's a great item. Appreciate it really that, is fantastic. Yeah, so definitely. if you want it, you don't have a lot of space. Got to get it. This is perfect for that. All right, we're stepping away. We're going to come back, and we got that slam dunk pressure cooker, perfect size, right after this. I love FlexPay. FlexPay is a way to pay off your purchase in small increments. I get to make monthly payments on it, but I have the item at home with me. That's probably my number one reason for shopping at HSN. To break it up and have a monthly payment that's usually so low, it gives you lots of opportunities to really make purchases that you might not be able to make otherwise. It just makes it accessible for everyone. Much better than throwing it on a credit card at a brick and mortar store. So you heard my story earlier in the day. I had an eight-quart pressure cooker. I, I loved it when I first got it, but I just, when Danny took off for college, and you know, and, and I'm, you know, my mom doesn't uh, eat as much as, as they used to. You know, I used to make all these big batches of things. We just didn't, I didn't use it anymore. Yeah. I donated, actually gave it to two friends of Danny's, college girls that are buddies of his that wanted a pressure cooker. I said, listen, you guys take this because you, she loves to make lots of big meals for her family. Yeah. And I went and got this two quart last time you were on air. And I will tell you, it's a lifesaver. I use Isn't it all great? the time. It's the perfect size. And you'd be amazed at how big two quarts of food really is. You yeah. know, when you get two quarts of milk, that's a lot of food, right? What do we love about pressure cookers? Well, first of all, this one, I love the size. It's perfect for empty nesters, or if you're making for four to six people versus six to 12, which the larger ones are, and we have those if you wanna go online. But I love this, oh. A, for people that have never tried pressure cooking. Yes. And B, for people who have but need one that's a little more compact. So yep. what is pressure cooking all about? Well, here's the deal. We've known about it for many, many years. Our grandparents probably had pressure cookers. They're a little scary, because you had to lock it down, and then you had to release the steam and do all this weird stuff kind of sideways and backwards, and you had to know really how, what you were doing. Yeah. These are easy. You close the lid, you lock it, you let it go. It won't open until the steam pressure is released. What does steam pressure do? Well, think about it. If you got nowhere to go, you go back in. 
right? <laughs> that's and that's, right. What, that's what steam does. That sounds like my so, holidays. <laughs> that's exactly right. So if you put wine in with your pot roast and the liquid can't go nowhere and neither can the steam, it goes into the meat and it breaks down the tougher parts of the meat and it makes it melt in your mouth tender. Mm -hmm. It does that with veggies. It does that with chicken. Whatever you do will be moist and tender. I said, and I think I've coined this, all day flavor in a fraction of the time. I love all that. day flavor, flavor with, in a fraction, fraction of the time. time. That's 66% what it is. last yes. time to be exact, yeah. actually. Um, and that what's so cool about that is listen, we are all busy, we all have work and activities, and maybe yeah. you know, you're out there and you forgot to pull something out for dinner. This is a way that you can pop something in, and depending upon what you're cooking, it could be five minutes. Um, this actually, this pork roast that we just did was about an hour. So within an hour, we have this was almost three pounds you know what it takes of pork roast. If I put that in my in my yeah. cooker in the oven, three and a half hours. Of course. Three yes. and a half hours for fork tender. Totally. Yeah. And, and to have it to pull apart like this, I mean, look, I just did all those nachos, so maybe you're thinking about tailgating right now and having people over. Um, I did three sliders, and I still have meat left inside. So what I love about this is we call this the perfect size. And the reason it's the perfect size is because depending upon what you're cooking, this will feed anywhere from one to four very comfortably. If you're doing things like appetizers and things like that for parties, oh, you're going to yeah. get way more than Sweet that meatballs yummy oh yum 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 so here i'm gonna leave this open because um for my next one for my next trick um <laughs> i want to add some of that to it so oh. this is the best way to do pasta and you go what because have you ever had pasta on the stove and then the pasta just starts boiling over and that yeah. water is getting everywhere yeah you never have that problem with pressure cooking so here i actually did my pasta in six minutes i put a little cream in there so you do two parts cream you make the best macaroni and, <laughs> and you know what i love <laughs> it's so simple. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yes, and in a matter of minutes. So now I'm just going to add the cheese at the end. So if you wanted to add Gruyere, if you wanted to add American cheese, if you wanted to add, you know, goodness, Swiss. I mean, you could add whatever you want. There it comes. Because it's nice and hot, it'll just go ahead and melt it's right in. It's getting gooey. It's getting gooey. Just keep rolling it around. <laughs> look, 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 look. But you know, what I love is that the mess is only the bowl. That's it. That's all you have to clean up. And for me, I'm telling you, I have stopped getting out the pots. Look at all that yum, yum cheese. I have stopped getting everything on the stove top and going now my pressure cooker is my best friend I swear so here I'm actually gonna do what is I guess it's more than one serving. There, this mean, is a lot of mac and cheese. This for is a happy you know, serving. Well, two quarts of mac and cheese is a lot. It really is. Right? I mean, so look, this huge bowl, and I still have a whole bunch left over. Get that cheese in there. Whoop. Okay. Um, and if you want, come over here. Let's not, it's not finished. There's a lot of, oh. Guys. She's gonna give me some pulled pork. That's yeah, not put finished. that in there too. Okay, boom. Okay, now it's finished. Check that out. All right, oh hold on. my gosh. Let me just show you. How close can you get to that bite that's right there? Look at that. I want you to look at that. <laughs> that is just silly. Are you freezing right yeah, now? It's I know, it's like every time I see that, I think about, because it was 24 when I left my house in Atlanta today. Um, it's even in the 40s here in Florida. So I'll tell you, the things that you're gonna wanna do right now is a lot of those comfort foods. We wanna do those pork roasts. We wanna do our mac and cheeses. We wanna do our <laughs> stews. I've been doing tons of stews. That's the longest This makes it simple. Noodle. So while you're enjoying that, I wanna show you, please notice how the lid is, I'm hands-free and this lid's been sitting right here. It's because the lid has the ability to stand up like this. Now, <laughs> one thing about most pressure cookers on the marketplace is usually when the lid comes off you're trying to like find a place to put it right. so of course because there's you know the liquid and the steam inside a lot of times you're getting water everywhere so what I love about this is it actually hinges up right here and stays there for you which is really great when you're doing uh, yeah. appetizers or serving um, now it comes right back down when I'm cooking you'll hear it kind of go and it's kind of yeah. like sucking up into place right that's the ring inside that we'll talk about in a second and then you just lock it once you've locked it then at the top here if we can get this shot we have a pressure side and a steam side. Now this is the gasket part. This is the part that makes it different than your grandmother's pressure cooker. So steam side would be for when you want to release and for when you want to do slow cooking. And this is for when you want to do pressure. So you'll make sure it's lined up to pressure. Then you're going to come down here and let's talk about how easy this is to use. This literally has eight different functions in one. So don't let the two quart size fool you. This does all the same things that those six quarts and eight quarts do all day long. So now here we want to go to my menu and you'll see that I have pressure high pressure low. I have my slow cook option. Or is that my keep warm option? Yes, my keep warm, my slow cook. 
Then over here is my brown. Now this is really important if you're gonna do meats. Always try to sear those first. That's gonna add a little extra layer of caramelization to your meats and add that extra flavor. Over here is our chili stew button, which I use a lot of. It's gonna automatically take you to about 15 minutes. Eggs, six minutes to eggs, and this is also your rice cooker. That's how easy. So I would pick whatever it is that I wanna do, and then I would literally hit start, and then this would start coming up to pressure. That's All how right. easy this Let is. Let me, well, I'm gonna take a quick sec to tell you that this could sell out. Um, in some of the colors. Okay. I have the red that you're looking at there comes in black. Beautiful. It comes in b blue. And then what's, is that a, like a rose goldy color? What color is this one here? Uh, that's taupe. taupe. That's taupe. So uh, we have those colors available, but, but uh, that's the good news. Bad news, huge customer pick, read the reviews. Okay, I want you to read about it. I love this machine. I think this machine is brilliant. First of all, because just like we, we earlier when Mark was here, we had a smaller uh, version of a try me cast iron pan. Because yeah. not everybody has ever, not people, some people are like, pressure cooker, that sounds scary. Exactly. No, it is, it is you. your best friend. It's easier to cook in a press, pressure cooker than it is in any other device because you really can't screw it up. The only thing you gotta remember is to create pressure, you need to have liquid in there. Yep. Some sort of liquid. So I'll give you, as, as you are revealing that beautiful cake, I will tell um. you, let me give you, here's an easy recipe, you ready? Go and get the cheapest cut of beef or pork, yep. preferably with a bone in it, okay? And get it, you know, something about two or three pounds. Put it in there, all right? If it's pork and you wanna do some, uh, you wanna do barbecue, sprinkle it with about a, a one you know, like jar of barbecue sauce and put a little bit of uh, water or stock in there. That's it. Close the lid, let it go an hour. It'll be completely fork tender, it'll taste delicious. If you wanna do pot roast, which is my other favorite, take any kind of cut of meat, uh, you know, preferably a bottom round, top round, whatever. If you can get one with a bone in it, better, because bone is flavor. Put it in there, half a cup of red wine, one of those packages of French onion soup mix, and maybe a quart of chicken stock or water, a carrot, an onion, and a handful of mushrooms. Close the dang lid and wait about 45 minutes. Done. When you open that up and you put that stuff over egg noodles, Yep. With a little dollop of sour cream. I know it sounds weird, but it works. It's really good. Okay, you were talking about the, the beef sour and cream. the cream. He's right. and the, he had me try it it's last It's like time stroganoff. Get out! It's, it is like stroganoff. And you are a you are a rock star because people are like, where did you learn to make pot roast? You're and like, the, I did it in a and the cook. flavor. My pot roasts were terrible before I started pressure yeah. cooking. I'm going to tell you straight up. You guys have seen me in the kitchen for 10 years, but there's always those certain things we're just good at, and then there's yeah. things that we're not very good at. And I always had a hard time with meat. This makes you virtually like you cannot mess you up with can't. this because again, what he was saying, and I want to describe that. What's happening is, here you have it, and this is the bowl that comes out. This is the only thing you really need to clean, and you're gonna take off your ring when you're done here, so the ring pops out for cleaning as well. I yeah. would not dishwasher this. I would just let it rinse soak. Rinse it. Just rinse it, because yeah. this is what keeps the pressure inside, and then that pops right back on. So for cleaning, a little wipe down, just keep your guy nice and clean. But what's nice about this, you're just loading the ingredients. You always wanna make sure you have at least a cup of some sort of liquid, and then you close, you lock, you choose, you start. At the end when you're done, you can do something called a quick release or a natural release. If you leave it on its own, this will go to a keep warm and it'll actually keep warm for up to eight hours, which is great. They busted me eating. Oh gosh, he's like, I can't stop. It's really good though. Oh um, so, and, you'll, and it'll keep warm for up to eight hours, but if you want a quick release, this will be over on the pressure side. You just pop it over to steam. Now the steam will start to come out, but it will not release until this little gadget guy pops down and you'll hear it go pop. And when it pops down, that's your safety, basically. And what I like to do, FYI, is I like to just throw a towel on top of it. So I just go, as I release it, I just throw a towel on top. And within a few moments, it releases. You hear it clink, and then your food is done. That is all you have to do. Now, for recipes, we're going to start you off with Oh, my with gosh. Some. Yeah. Here, well, you get everything you need to get out of the gate. Absolutely. This is the unit, and I really wanted, I'm going to move the yes. little card out of the way so you can see so it clear. That. This is what I wanted to show you. This is the perfect size, in my opinion, because I, I find I like to do, I, I do as many side dishes in this as I do entrees, yeah. because I love one of my favorite things of all time, which is really good if you're on a diet, is steamed artichokes. Whole They're artichokes. So good if you've never had them. They before. take a year to eat, so you don't eat fast. Yeah. You get a little bit of food, but it's so delicious. so delicious. It's great when you're on a diet. I take two, put them in there, 
put about an inch and a half, two inches of water. Sure. The old way I used to do it is I put them on a the stove top and put a lid on. Yeah. They would get all over because they have to boil. Sure. For like an hour they have to cook. It's crazy. In here it's a matter of minutes. And think about the amount of heat difference that you're using if you have your stove on for an hour versus having this 300 on for left an hour. in red, by the way, that's going to sell out. The first. other thing I love doing, yeah. uh, my mashed potato game has changed. I'm going to tell you my secret. I do half mashed potato actual potatoes and half cauliflower. So I'm actually doing a cauliflower mash and the thing about it is is that lowers your calorie intake, mm. but it also adds a little pop of flavor to my mashed potatoes. I love it. And all I do is I put half potatoes, half mash right in here and I actually put them up on the rack so you're actually getting the rack as well. So for things like um, uh, if you want to do uh, stuffed peppers, if you want to do like your artichokes, you just put oh, them on the rack. What'd you do? Did you make chili? We made a turkey chili. Now oh this recipe gosh, is in the book that, that you're that getting. Looks, that looks great. Okay, so whether you want to do beans or corn or you know you want to add chicken or you want to add beef or you want to add turkey. I, I never mean, put corn in my chili. That sounds like a really good idea. Well, it's kind of like the tips. No, well, I, you know what I because I make <laughs> because I make dang good cornbread. That oh, that's why. oh so it goes with. But it. I could do that as well. Totally. By the way, you could make cornbread in here. Yes, you yes you could. Yes, you could. You saw me do a cake just a minute ago. I know. Here, pop you, that well, over you're there pretty for amazing. Me. Anyway. Look how beautiful. So you're going to get several bowls out of here. So again, this would be good for up to four people for sure um, if you're talking about soup. And sometimes I like not having like a ton of leftovers. So if you want to make your soup and have it be day two soup, on day one, here's the thing. When you were talking about what happens in here is that it, it, the, the water, the liquid is turning to steam. The steam can't go anywhere because when the lid is on this, it's trapped, right? So where is that steam going? It's going back into the food. So if that's your soup, it's infusing those flavors faster. So you're getting so, two day soup. I always call it are second you, day soup did on you, the first day. Are you talking about a time machine? I know. Is that <laughs> what you're talking about right pretty, now? Pretty much, pretty <laughs> much. You're, Let me just tell you this. Quicker. You know, when you buy, I said this, earlier when we were talking about our today's special and we were talking about our lazy boy um, uh, recliner if you start with a really good product yeah a really good one it's kind of hard to muck it up it really is and with a pressure cooker like this with all the features all you got to do is put some tough stuff in there with some liquid and it's going to be tender that's that's pretty much it but even if you don't have tough stuff if you want to do noodles if you want to do soups or stews or chilies if you get a little oh. maybe you got a little chicken you know a little little three pound chicken i they did. make a three pound chicken i did yeah, of they probably they do, do, right? A little, yeah, little, hey, little, little, little game hen or something. Yeah. I did, I do frozen. You can get a regular, like, rotisserie chicken in there. Frozen chicken breasts, I actually put them in, and I did just a little bit of barbecue sauce, cooked right. them for 30 minutes, and it was absolutely delicious. So here we did a pork roast, or a pot roast, sorry, and what's great about pot roast is, again, similar thing. This is something that would take about two to two and a half hours to get this perfect if you were doing it in the oven or if you were doing, I mean, look at this. Oh All right, you God. ready? You know what I'm going to do. What? You know I'm gonna do this. Oh, you're doing the sour cream? Here's what I'm gonna tell you. All right? This is that true. is sour cream. He is right about all this. All right, guy. and what I'm gonna say is all of you that are making a face, trust me on the sour cream. <laughs> you're all making a face. Trust me on the sour cream on the pot roast because Ugh. it just, you know what it is? It's dang stroganoff, man. It's so good. So good. And it has a lot less fat Whoa. than butter. And then you can kind of move it over to the taters there so you don't have to put the butter on the potatoes. But I would put the butter on the I am still going. And look I still have tons, but look at how tender it's just pulling right fork. apart. I'm making a mess over here, but it's pulling right apart. So, you know, whether you want to do uh, your meats for dinner, or maybe you want to do your side dishes, if you're a household that already has a larger pressure cooker, sure. I have a six quart pressure cooker and I have this one. During the holidays, it was my lifesaver. I would have one job going in the bigger pressure cooker, maybe like with the meats or something, and then I had my potatoes going on over here. So I was knocking out potatoes, by the way, those mashed potatoes I was telling you about, six minutes. Done. Perfect. Every single time. And so when you talk about saving time, it's really incredible with that. Yummy. Having pulled chicken that was delicious from frozen that mm. I popped in, and that was done in about 30 minutes. That's, you know, you, it would take that, that long just to defrost the chicken. Here I'm going to do something a little different. Here I'm going to do, this is actually called a Red is almost sold out. Oh. I just got a little update from my boy Rob, who's up there, our, our uh, producer, and he just said, guy, we are down to like, I don't know, what'd you say, Rob, 150 or something like that? Oh, wow. 160, Red's okay. It's pretty. It really stands out in the kitchen. Um, you know, and the thing about this is you're going to keep this on your countertop, and you're going to find lots of ways to use it because of its size. It's that perfect everyday size. It doesn't feel gloppy and large and, and getting in the way. It just feels like it complements your kitchen. So this is a pho, so, which is Vietnamese. Um, it's a big deal now. Ramen and pho are the big deals. And you know why? Because the broth sits and cooks for hours upon hours upon hours. You can get that type of um, taste and get all of that flavor with a pressure cooker. So <clears throat> let me just give you a little, I'll give you a little word of advice. If you don't, 
know how to cook that well. All right, let's say you're, maybe you're, you know, you just got married, whatever it is, you've never had experience in the kitchen. I will tell you that a pressure cooker is easy. It is. And and it's not, this is not one of those things, oh, when I get to that level, I'll start using a pressure cooker. This is, should be for beginners out there because yeah. what it essentially does is it just takes the time out of it. But it doesn't do it like a microwave. And and I don't get me wrong, I don't have anything wrong with microwave oven. Microwave is fine, you know, you gotta reheat things and you wanna use it, you know, make soups and things like that when you're in a pinch. Sure. But when you wanna make real good food, natural food, and you want to do it faster, this is a natural way to do that. All it does is speed up the process of heating. And it doesn't allow anything to escape. So not only the flavor is in there, the nutrients stay in there. Yep. It's just, it's a slam dunk. If you want red, I'm down to 100, maybe less. We are running out of time. But I encourage you to grab it while you can. You'll love it. And you'll use it for all your favorite dishes, your side dishes. If you live alone or if you're an you know, empty nester, it's just you and your partner. And you want to make, like, you know what I love? What's that? And I learned a lot of these from my mom and her, her mom. Was stuffed cabbage. Oh. I love. I just made that actually right before best. college. It takes forever. So it's a lot of work. But when you do it right. But when you do it right. Put some liquid in there, lay some bacon on top of it. That's the key. Oh, See, yeah. I'm with the tricks. We bacon. need you. We need like you to start bacon. like a. You like put a... you put a cut like five strips of bacon in between the layers. That stuff is sweet. I need to interview him. Like Dang, I need to sit you good. down and get all your tips, guys. Tips. Well, I come, you know, this is a lot, a lot of layers. <laughs> Not just a shirt and a Peel sweater. There's onion. many, many layers. Peel, Peel that, that onion. onion. <laughs> You're the best. Thank you. You're the best. Bobby Ray coming your way next. I'll see you in a couple days. <laughs> Keep shopping. <laughs>